Hello and greetings to members of our churches, St Paul's and St Mary's and to Great Yarmouth Minster. Now, someone was saying to me just the other day, I really like the way with your weekly greetings, uh, Father Simon, that you are out and about and I'm always guessing where you're going to be because it's always somewhere different and I try my best. Uh, over the last year I have been to all sorts of places around our wonderful parish and beyond to offer a moment of reflection but I am here inside the Minster because I'm very conscious that in the next uh, few days that it will be the first anniversary of lockdown and that sort of sent my mind sort of racing back trying to remember how it was when we first went into lockdown back in March 2020 and here we are in March 2021. We never imagined that it was going to be so long. We had that feeling, I think, at the time that we were just going to sort of hunker down for a few weeks and, and lie low. And then after a month or two, hopefully, God willing, would have all come out and uh, uh, the coronavirus would have gone away and we'd all come uh, processing and marching back into a, a grand service here in church or, or something like that. And of course, that's not the reality. That's not the way that it's been. But I can remember the first uh, weekly greeting that I filmed on uh, my camera uh, and I didn't quite know what I was doing because I don't think at that point I'd ever actually filmed and uploaded anything onto YouTube before and I was kind of a bit hesitant and trying to work out what I was doing. But I seem to recall that I stood just in front of the um, altar. Well, I, I know I did because I looked it up um, before I came over here. And I stood in front of the altar and said, in the next few days, we're going to have to close. We will not be here on Sunday. And then the following week, I filmed one in the porch just outside, because at that point, the doors were closed and we all had to be outside the church. And then sort of subsequently, I sort of had moved around. But I just wanted to reflect and just to remember those feelings that all of us had a year ago. A lot has changed. A lot of us, all, all of us, have been through a lot in different ways and, and to different levels. A lot of us know people who have, have suffered from the virus. Some of us may have lost loved ones as well. But all of us, I mean, our whole society, as well as our church family, have been through a time of great challenge and change. And we're still going through that process as we look ahead to how things will unfold. We're beginning to look forward to Easter and Holy Week, which will be different from what we're used to, but more than we had last year when we couldn't come into church at all. So here in the parish of Great Yarmouth, we're planning some, uh, some simple services to see us through Holy Week and to help us to prepare to celebrate the mystery of Easter. But in the next few days, uh, we will be thinking, and I'm sure there'll be lots and lots in the media, marking the anniversary of the lockdown and we do look forward to that sense of hope. I know a lot of us are tired and exhausted by this all but we do have that sense of hope as the, the vaccine rolls out and um, we, we have a, a feeling that maybe as the days are lengthening and the signs are spring in the air that we may indeed be able to look forward to uh, some normality even if it's a new normal in the weeks and the months to come but until then we're still here i'm still doing my weekly greetings along with other members of the team as well and we'll continue to do so but until we see each other again take care look after each other stay safe and god bless